right moving on with the design of my motor drive uh, in this video I'll try to take care of um, the remaining boxes here uh, <coughs> probably I'll just uh, add the USB brake control and possibly the LCD interface we'll see how much time I have um, so um, I'll go back to the schematic and um, I'll start by adding the USB port now um, originally I thought that I would use a OTG uh, connection for this USB port but um, after giving it some thought, I uh, decided that this is going to be actually a USB 2 connection uh, or just a normal USB um, micro plug. Um, and um, uh, the reason for that is, uh, is that I want to, um, to have the normal um, plug for, for this connection. I don't want to use the, the OTG plug. Uh, since that would require um, adapters for the most common cables that uh, that I have available uh, and um, it's highly unlikely that uh, this board would be connected to some USB um, device um, that this board would act as a USB host for a device um, so um, for the at least for the revision A I will use um, a USB connector uh, that is just a device connector <clears throat> and um, I think this USB micro uh, actually does support uh, OTG uh, but um, I'm going to just wire it up as a um, as a normal uh, USB device connector. So I believe uh, ID is going to go to ground or just left be left unconnected I think. Um, let's check what uh, the USB specification says. Um, uh, USB ID. Yep, so um, the ID pin is going to be unconnected um, and USB V bus. Uh, so the question is now, um, do we want to um, uh, do we want to power uh, this board from USB? Um, that could be useful. So um, I could um, connect actually um, Let's see what I can come up with. I could place diodes there, uh, which is kind of the usual cheap way of doing it. Uh, so I take um, from VBus, I place uh, this double BAT54 um, Schottky diode, where uh, the VBus comes in through one diode and then comes out at the 5 volt rail, and uh, the 5 volt rail from the regulator comes in. Uh, at the other diode and um, comes out um, at the same 5 volt rail so that uh, neither one can power uh, neither the regulator inside the computer or the onboard regulator will power each other um, but um, the problem with that is that it results in a voltage that is uh, lower than um, than the 5 volt uh, output of the regulator uh, so ideally, I want to use something that uh, is an ideal diode, 
uh, which um, uh, which switches the power automatically. But the question is, maybe maybe they're expensive, so I'll I'll have to check. So I'm gonna go and um, see USB. Um, USB and maybe there is uh, a ready-made solution for uh, doing this kind of thing and I, I'm sure there is probably specifically designed for this type of application there is USB power managers um, USB power manager with ideal diode Although this is this is a lithium uh, cell charger, so this is probably going to be expensive. This is the circuit I was talking about. Right, so the problem is here that um, the USB will have to power um, so the, the problem here is that the USB will have to power even the external sensors which are normally powered by the by the regulator, which is kind of it's fine because if uh, even if there is another current condition the USB uh, typically the USB controller will uh, just cut the power um, but uh, I still want to kind of give a give a little bit of thought to this, um, and this is this is a bit too complex. This is not what I want. Um, so I just want to um, What is this LTC forty four twelve?
They're goddamn expensive. This is this is not worth it. This is definitely not fucking worth it. Okay. Um So for the USB connection, I will uh, use a normal USB B micro, and uh, I'll connect it as a device interface, which means the ID pin is going to be uh, just disconnected. And uh, the V bus is for now going to be disconnected. Or maybe I should actually connect the VBUS. I think that... Um, I think that this diet is a wrong choice. Uh, because this diet is only 200 milliamps. So this is not going to work. I have to find uh, a. Um, I have to find a double uh, diode which has positive um, uh, anodes connected to the uh, to pin one and two, and both cathodes connected to pin three. Um, So Schottky diode, uh, one milliamp, definitely not. So double dual common cathode, um, and we have 11 of them left. I think, um, I think I should just uh, go to this category first, first and uh, uh, I'll just search for, um, I'll just search based on the search criteria. Um, it's going to be common, uh, double common uh, cathode and um, it will have a forward current of, let's see. Let's have anything that's above two amps. So common cathode is we've got only one available. But fifty four uh, CV two hundred milliamps. Um, okay. Uh, instead, I think uh, I'll just use two um, two diodes which I've used uh, before here. So may maybe I can use. Let's see. Maybe I can use a diode that we have um, in the switcher here. Got a few diodes here, uh, so this would be 100 volts, SBBC 51 and 100. Um, okay. SBB, no, CBBC 5100. This is a what? 
This is a Shotki Diary. Great. Uh, and what is the drop? What is that? Got a little application note here about powering electronics. Um, from USB. So um, 